The museum also displays two unique dresses that follow the lives of two of our founders. Olive Burnett, Ollie, and Bertha Denniston, Denny, immediately became close friends when they met at DePaul. Their friendship continued throughout their lifetime. They were two of the first to have a liar badge to wear. They both loved clothes and parties. While at DePaul, the originals of these two dresses were designed and worn by the two at several events. When the dresses were no longer stylish, the lace was removed from each dress and saved. Fifty years later, Olive and Bertha were asked to speak at the 1935 National Convention, celebrating 50 years since the founding of Alpha Chi Omega. They decided it would be fun to remake the dresses they wore in 1885. Neither could remember what her own dress looked like, but each remembered what the other's dress looked like. The two dresses were remade with the original lace and worn at the convention banquet. These two dresses were on display at headquarters until 2012. They had become extremely fragile. A wonderful seamstress who is a mother of an Alpha Chi Omega staff member took on the task of taking the dresses apart piece by piece while trying to save the original lace. It took over a year to find suitable fabric, save the lace, and reconstruct the dresses. Other dresses are rotated and are displayed in other areas of the building. This dress was worn by National President Dialis Coburn Cochran while she presided over the Centennial Convention in 1985. Ellen Little Vandenbrink was National President from 1988 to 1992 when she wore this red, long sequin dress. Ruth Miller Windsor, National President from 1939 to 1943, wore this short black dress with beaded and sequin flowers. Founder Estelle Leonard's black, baby, black swimsuit is on display in the parlor. We also have Estelle's gym suit. Clothes help to tell the story of different times in the history of our country and our sisterhood. <laughs> <laughs>